Hey, so if any of you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen a couple days ago I made a post regarding a box that showed up to the house. It was an item that I had put in my Amazon wish list not very long ago. It was literally in there for probably three days. And it may have been the most expensive item in there. It's super awesome, super exciting. But just a couple days ago, I made a post on Instagram to show it. This box just showed up to my house. Unannounced. There it is. Here it is. And it's really transparent as to what it is because on the outside of the box, I'll go get the box here in just a second. The outside of the box is a Swan logo and the side of the box says hi Vi 3.1 DIY or DIY 3.1. And on the top it says world-class loudspeakers. Oh man, am I excited. So today we're going to dig into this, get everything laid out and put together a plan for what we're going to do. So this is a, it's a stereo loudspeaker system that you get to build yourself and do however you want. So they supply you with the drivers and the materials to make the box and you actually build the crossover pieces yourself. Let's go grab this and dig into it. All right, here's our box. It's actually pretty dang big, but see here, Swan logo, hi vibe DIY 3.1A. Oh man, oh man, world-class loudspeakers. So I'm gonna get this over here because I just made a little area to get everything undone and let's dig into it. So it's actually really heavy too. There's a lot going on, oh wow, there's a lot going on in here. Oh, even their tape has a little, hi Georgia, hi baby. You gonna get in this with me? Hi, hi baby. Hi. You know, you know, some dirt on your snoot. You eating dirt? You been eating dirt again? Since I put all the plants down? But yeah, even their tape has little swan logos in it. I need a knife. I don't have a knife. Let's go. And there's Hazel. You're interested too. Oh, that side's already done. Thanks, UPS. That. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay. What have we got here? So this, I think this is the, they supply you with like a faux wood grain, like black oak wood grain vinyl to put on it if you want but I've seen a lot of people say it's super crap. It kind of looks like crap. And I don't really want black speakers. I like brighter stuff. So we got a bunch of hardware in here. I think these are the little receivers for the pegs. I actually want to do magnets for the speaker grills because I don't want anything showing on the front but the drivers themselves and the beautiful cabinet. All right, so we got a bunch of hardware. Got some foam, lots of foam in here. I think they say this foam is for um, sound deadening material inside the cabinet, maybe, but it's pretty dense foam. I may want to use like big fluffy stuff. I'm actually just gonna put that up there. More foam. More hardware, more foam. It's a hefty amount of foam. All right, what have we got here? More stuff that's come out of the packaging. So I think these are the hold down surrounds for the big drivers. That's big. I think it's a six and a half inch uh, base driver. We've got ports. We've got little soft isolators, insulators, whatever. We've got some copper wiring. Oof, there's the money. 
actually not really, but swan. Uh, I'm so excited. So I'm assuming this is the instructions. What is that? Oh, this is the grill cloth. So these speakers are crazy, 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 crazy cool. It's a six and a half inch bass driver. I think it's a two inch soft dome mid range and then a, uh, a ribbon tweeter. I love ribbon tweeters. Absolutely love ribbon tweeters and kind of a big soft dome mid range. This is very similar to my 5001s here. Hi, George. Did you want to look at them too? Will you go lay down, baby? Go lay down. Go lay down. Or just park it right there. Where's that? And Hazel's making noise. Hi, Hazel. Come here, baby. But yeah, so these are oddly, I didn't even think about this until now. These are oddly similar to my Infinities here with a ribbon tweeter two inch soft dome, and I think this is a six and a half or seven inch woofer. Just a bigger cabinet. And these are way newer. These are like 40 years old now. All right, so we've got terminals, so you can buy wire them by amp. I don't know the big difference, but it's all connected. Oh, huh? Okay, yeah. that up here, put this one up here. Okie dokie, what have we got in here? If only I knew how to open a box. Yes, very relevant, very relevant. Carson cannot open a box. Okay, so this is the two inch soft dome. Look at that. Really pretty. So Swans, five ohm, 120 watt for the two inch soft dome. So probably just put that back in the box. So I can't really get everything out. So that, I'm going to assume this is the exact same thing, the soft dome. What's this? Oh no, styrofoam. I hate styrofoam. You chasing the cat? Mm -hmm. Ooh. All right, so these look like the tweeters. Oof, baby. Look at that, I love me a ribbon tweeter. Georgia loves a ribbon tweeter too. They just sound so nice and crispy, don't they? So nice and crispy. Come here, come here. Lay down, baby, lay down. This is not for you, you gotta lay down, stay put. Yeah. All right. So we've got tweeters. I'll put those up on the foam. Hazel. Oh, this one's heavy. Oh yeah. Oh, this is what I'm super into. This is all the crossover components. It's so all the resistors. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. And yes, everything in here says made in China because everything in the world now is made in China. Even if it says made in USA on it, all the parts were probably manufactured in China, then sent here and then assembled. So technically this will all be made in USA. Oh yeah, that's a big boy. Yeah, so here's the PCB for the crossover. 
And is that that's everything for just one, and that's everything for just the other one. Cool. Open this up real quick. So it gives you out of what parts go where. I've got all the traces on the back for everything to follow. This is so cool, and that's a really nice board. It's got a good weight to it. Yeah, so basically what you'll do is each one of these pieces, each one of these devices will do, 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 do. And I'm sure there's an actual instructions piece, but it looks like this is a 10 microfarad. Yeah, so they basically will go in place like that. You'll solder everything in place and you'll have your crossovers. Where's her egg? George's towel. Nope, she must have taken it. Okay. So I'll just put this back in here. Oh, that's going to be fun. I love working on electronics. So we've got crossovers. These must be the base drivers. They are so pretty. I can't even see them yet. Hi, George. Hey, back it up. Back it up. Over here. Actually, come here. Come lay on your bed. Come lay down. Good girl. Uh -huh. Oh, oh, heavy. Maybe upside down. I just wish more people would stop using styrofoam. We could have accomplished this with like compressed cardboard or something like that. Ooh, yeah. Oh, yeah, and that's heavy too. That's a big old magnet. These are a lot of the magic that happens in these speakers. So it's a carbon or carbon Kevlar cone. It's got a base plug in it. Well, it does move independently of it. Everything looks good in here. It looks like pretty short travel for that on the spider, but we'll see. 4 ohm, 60 watt. Not bad, that's got some good weight to it. So what I'll do is I'll just put this back in here. Put that on top so you can see it, how beautiful that is. Nice beautiful surrounds. I'm just gonna say that's the other one. Box isn't exactly closed well, but that's okay. That's okay. And then there's another giant box inside my giant box. This, oh wow, this is the heavy part. Come here. Oh wow. So this should be all the materials to build the boxes. Is that someone's hair? No, it's just plastic. I love it when I get people's hair. I save that shit. Not really. I'm too careful about this. Too methodical about the unboxing. Like when I was a little kid for Christmas, I could never just rip open the paper and tear into everything. I had to like peel up the tape and unfold it because I'm weird. That's on fly, fly a little way. Will it? Backflip paper airplane. All right, soup. 
Anti-mildew sticker, do not eat or swallow. So I can eat it so long as I don't swallow it or I can swallow it if I don't eat it. So the way all of these are, that looks like it got a little crispy in the saw. Every one of the pieces edges are cut at 45s. And apparently what they recommend is you tape them together from this side, side to side here apply your glue and then tip everything up because 45 plus 45 makes 90. Look at that. So those look like at the bottom and a top because there's pins for the, uh, that to that and the, the crossover board to stick to that. This looks like a big side. This is actually both the sides with a relief cut into it for, I'm assuming a support, because from what I've heard, these things bump. Ooh, yes, this is the good stuff. The, uh, they always send you drink powder in the boxes, mix up some nice warm water, dump this in, let it dissolve, you're good to go. Sometimes it gets really chunky, kind of like pudding, that's okay, just get out a spoon, you're good. Oof, so this is a front and back. This is where binding posts are gonna go here, and then the port, which, how do you get that in? You just have to mangle it? Oh, that does fit through the hole, and the port goes in there. These are ported three-way speakers. <laughs> three-way. More foam. Do, 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 do. At least that stuff's plastic based and it can be recycled at the right plant. Georgia, don't you walk off with any of that. Ah, yes, so these are the supports that go in the center. Hmm, another foam airplane with lots of wing support this time. So maybe it'll fly a little straighter. Nope, that one sucks. That looks like a side. That's another bottom. Here are the two big sides. These things are big. That is a big speaker. And even the face. So let's, let's pull the face out and actually compare it to the infinities that I have. This is not a direct comparison to Infinity. This is just a size comparison to the speakers I have. So, tweeter, two inch soft dome mid range, and then that six and a half inch bass driver. This goes in there. And then, what did I do with those? This little finishing plate. I'll go over it like that. That's not too bad. It's kind of pretty. I wonder if you can hide those screws as well. Oh, I'm stoked. Put that back. Pull this out. Don't drop it because it's brand new and somebody bought this for me. I need to figure out there's nothing in here. I need to figure out who bought this for me. But first, so... So it's a little bit smaller than the full speaker layout of my 5001s. But where's one of the 2000s? Back here. So compared to the 2000, that's quite a lot bigger. It's just as wide, if not a little more narrow. But the box for these is like that deep. They're big. I think each speaker assemble is going to weigh like 25, 30 pounds. And then I may actually end up um, I may end up remaking the boxes out of solid hardwood because I have the ability to do that. So this will be for the speaker grill. Hi, I'm staring at you. So 
I'll just do that. Yeah, and it'll sit off of it a little bit, but I want to affix this with magnets. So I want to, I'll like Bondo these closed, fill them, sand it all nice and smooth. Cause once I glue these together, it's gonna be big, nasty and just glue junk everywhere and tape residue. And so we'll sand everything nice and smooth. I'll have filled these four holes for the pegs for this. I'll figure out how much they need to be spaced off of the speaker. And I'll probably inset like a little steel peg or I'll probably put the magnets in this side. I'll get little neodymium magnets and then just a little steel peg or ball on this side. So it just thunk. Cause I don't want any of that crap showing on the front. I love my 5001s, but this is disgusting. And I will forgive you guys back in the seventies for having done this because you didn't understand you could stick stuff together with magnets yet. Yeah, and that's the back. These things are gonna be big. So let me get this out of the way. So let's actually try and like somewhat put some stuff together to see how big these are gonna be. So that's a back. It's a surround or speaker grill. That's a front. And this is a side. Oh my gosh. Knife. Come here. Wow, that's big. So, how would this go? Because that's not centered. That would be in the way of that. So maybe it goes this way. So it's got, yeah, big room for the driver here and then the room for the other stuff on top. You out of my way. Cat's being crazy. So if I put these here. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a big box. Big box. Cool. Okay. So that's pretty much all the parts. Wow. So let me actually, I'll pull out one of these soft domes. I'll kind of mock everything up in it. But yeah, they send you everything you need to build the speaker cabinet. It's a passive speaker. So I have to use an amplifier and I'm still using my crappy Sony receiver and whatnot because PS Audio hasn't sent me a Sprout yet. What up, PS Audio? So yeah, so. And if you can hear that, the cat's fine. That's just, that's the noise she makes when she walks around. That's just her. So there's a soft dome. There's the ribbon tweet. Oh, they overlap too. Look at you guys. That's cool. Meow. Hazel. And then that big Johnny. Like that. There we are. These are going to be super fun. Nice little profile on the side. I'm stoked to get going on these. I need to go get some clamps so I can lay these up, glue them, and get them clamped together square. Otherwise, I'm gonna get too excited, glue them together, and use like a bar clamp or something and end up with like really askewed boxes, and that's gonna bug me for life. But yeah, super stoked on this. I don't know if I can set this down with everything staying in there. You go back in there. You go back up there. That one's nice and small.
Hi, Hazel. Come here. Your name's not, your name's not Hazel. Go lay down, baby. I'm trying to, I'm trying to play with my cat. Georgia is now just over two years old and she's a turd, but she's so pretty. You're so cute. Yes. Hugs. You wanna give me a hug? Come here. Come on. Come on, you gotta give me a hug. Come here, dead weight. Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. There you go. There you go. Big dog hugs. Okay. So there, in all of this, is the Swans Hi-Vi 3.1A DIY kit. We've got grow cloths, we've got, oh yeah, rubber feet, Swan logos, we've got vinyl, we've got hardware, we've got surrounds, we've got wiring, we've got binding posts, we've got ports, everything for the boxes, base drivers, two of them, two tweeters, two two-inch mid-ranges. So that's gonna be that for this one. Stick around for the next one where I'm gonna get these laid up, get the boxes all finished and ready to go. I'll have a video for making the crossovers. And then we'll put everything together and have our minds blown by how good these speakers are. So another thing is these are, of course, a DIY kit. But the Swans speakers that these are, well, basically a replica of. So let's see. By the way, like I said, these came from my Amazon wish. Oh yeah, I need to, we're getting ahead of ourselves. I need to figure out where these came from. I think there's a packing slip on the outside. Ah, there is. Do, 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 do. Can I have that? A gift for you. I know you've been an audio nut your whole life and I know you always enjoy a fun project. I thought that these may keep you occupied for a few days and your eyes, ears, and mind occupied for years to come. From mom and Mark. Ha! Huh. That's from my mom. Thanks mom. But like I said, these were on my Amazon wish list for like three days. That's so awesome. And you may ask Carson, where is this Amazon wish list? I'll put a link in the description. So any of you, if you want to pop in there, see something. I know I've got a couple little things that have to do with these speakers and building a new stereo system and things like that. But other little fun stuff, you pop in there, see any of that stuff you like, hit it up. I'm gonna make a video with any of it. You'll get a big thank you. I'm gonna come give you a hug because most of these people are probably in Oklahoma. Some of them in Ohio and I'll be back in Ohio early, mid, mid next year, mid 2020 because I still have to go get the Honda. I have to go get my Integra and say hi to all my friends I missed, but yeah. So there's this huge thank you actually to my mom who bought these for me. Huge thank you to all of you who are watching and Stay tuned for me getting messy and putting all this stuff together. Thanks guys, see ya. Also, I was talking about the speakers that these are modeled after, the Swans. So let's see, let's go to Swan speakers. Of course, we're not on the internet. Do, 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 do. Also, my dad's working on his room back there. We're tearing out the entire uh, bathroom closet and everything and building an entire new like master bathroom in there. It's super cool. It just looks like a whole lot of nothing right now. Go peek. Because we've had to, we've cut out the floor. We're building the drains right now. Yeah. So this is gonna be all of that bathroom, shower, whatnot. It's cool. It's me. It's what used to be me. Bathroom. Hey, Okay. But yeah. 
So let's hop on. Let's see Swan speakers. Ah, oh, so pretty. Collections, high fidelity stereo. So somebody else was saying they're modeled after the M3As, but I'm pretty sure the M3As are an active speaker. These are passive. Do, 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 do. Yeah, so these are an active speaker. These are powered. There's an amplifier in each one of these speakers. They're $1,200. What I'm looking for are the M3 passive speakers. So that's essentially what these are. So M3 passive, you see we've got the same tweeter, two inch soft dome, and then this six and a half. I'm pretty sure it's a six and a half. Don't look at me. Not looking. Do you have something on your face? No. I'm lumbering with the thing, but I don't want that lumbering thing to show up in your video. <laughs> yeah, six and a half base driver, two inch mid range, mid uh, mid range, and the ice the ISO dynamic tweeter. So that there is their really dolled up version of what I'm going to have. I'm not going to have that fancy machine front plate. I'm not going to have that all full hardwood case. And so little things like that are going to affect their price for manufacturing a bit because that's a beautiful full hardwood case, not MDF. But these passive speakers, these speakers that need an amplifier running to them, they don't have amplifiers in them, are $1,699, $1,700. This kit right here was $290 on Amazon. And I get to have all of the fun of doing it myself. I get to finish the cabinets however I want. I can paint them, I can wrap them, I can veneer them with some super awesome, crazy like purple heart or something like that and make them really weird and funky or make them really cool and contemporary or modern and paint them white and do black surrounds. But $1,700. And I get to build them myself and experience all of that myself. I'm super set. Stick around for the video for me getting the boxes put together. There's going to be a video for me building the PCBs. There will be a video for me assembling everything. And I'll try to make something of me finishing the boxes. Finishing the boxes will come a lot later. I'm going to get them together and just playable. And later on, I'm going to worry about veneering them or wrapping them or painting them. I want to get everything together, make sure everything works, make sure the crossovers work and everything before I put them in and finish the speakers so then you can't really get anything back out of it. See you guys then. Big one that I super forgot to do, I'm getting everything laid out to get that thumbnail and also send pictures to everybody because I'm so excited. You guys see how big the ports are. I don't even know how big the ports are. Got to give it the old port test. How many fingers? One finger, two fingers, three fingers. Almost a four finger port. Not bad. Can I get, can I get the knuckles in there? Nope. Three full knuckles, four finger port. Lots of bass.